Hi, this is Megan of Megan's Creations. Today I'm going to show you about Smart Guides. I really love this tool in Photoshop and thought I would um, the, the video tutorial is the best way to show it to you. Uh, and so the main way I thought that you could use it is when you're lining up alpha, when you're putting a title on a page. I also use it when I'm just trying to line up items on on a layout, you know, several squares. I try to line them up like that. I also use guides to center uh, things in my designs. Um, so today I'm going to just show you about um, how to do it with with Alpha. So I've done a file stacking of black for my title, Black Eye, and I'm going to go ahead and, and move it over to my layout here. And you'll start seeing these purple lines showing up on my layout and those are called smart guides and the way you turn those on is you go to view and you go show smart guides and you make sure you've checked off the smart guides they are really awesome um, like as you can start seeing as I was moving it it was lining it up with certain elements like this line this centered my stack of letters with the top of the owie word strip um, I can also put it here and it'll line it up with the, um, the top of this piece of paper here. Uh, the, the letters themselves aren't lined up so as you're starting to space them out you can do that. You can say okay I'm gonna line up the L with the bottom of the B and that's why I use this with my word art all the time. I make sure I have my smart guides set on so I follow their guidance and usually the letters will snap too that smart guide for you as you're moving them around. Um, and so you just go ahead and, and, and take each one and, and so you know, as you're moving each item it'll align it with different edges of different uh, shapes you have on your layout and I can also see that there's a purple line going through the middle of those letters. It's showing that their, their centers are lined up, so their bottoms and their centers are lined up. And that's an uneven alpha. The C, capital C, is taller than my K. and So you have to decide, are you going to line them up at the top? I usually line them up along the bottom. And uh, and then it's, it's lined up. And, and now I have my eye at an angle, so I would do that too with this. I would angle it, but at least it's going to be a straight angle. So you know, I lined it up first and then and then did the angle on it and then of course add uh, drop shadows to them. So as you can see it's a really handy lines them up when you do paper scrapbooking you have to have a ruler <laughs> you know to help you keep things straight. This is a great tool to automatically snap those lines to, for you. Uh, and those are the smart guides and then of course if you don't know how to make guides um, you know to center things um, you can you can just click on your ruler and then start dragging down. I'm holding on, I'm holding the key down as I'm pressing on the mouse, and I'm dragging it. And I could say, okay, I want to line it up with the top of this photo, or say you want to, um, you know, do. I want these two photos. It looks like these two photos aren't lined up. I can see that. Okay, this one's on the right of this guide. This one's not. And so then you can select that photo. And, and pull it over and it'll, again you see the smart guides telling you yes your photo is now lined up with the other photo it's lined up to the guide you set up it's it looks like the bottom of my photo is lined up with the bottom of the other two photos that are also horizontal and I can go okay and I can use these guides to help me line things up so that's just a regular guide you can um, like I said click on the ruler hold it down and drag it to where you want it or if you're trying to center something you know exactly how wide it is if this is a 12 by 12 paper if I know I want centered like I'm doing a big circle layout maybe you can go to view new guide and you select horizontal or vertical and if you put in six or whatever it'll automatically go to inches since that's what my ruler is set to inches and it'll create the guide there. If you decide later, okay, I need to remove the guides, I'm done with them, view clear guides and, and they go away. It doesn't take off your uh, smart guide. Your smart guides will still show up the purple ones when you start moving something. But um, so there you go, there's guides. Those are um, super helpful when lining up your photos, your shapes, lining up 
an alpha that you're doing for a title. They're extremely helpful uh, keeping everything centered and, and lined up. So I hope you find that helpful and a great tool for you to use. And we'll see you next time.